Welcome to the first video in our tutorial series, Researching Your House. In this video, we will be looking at fire insurance plans and aerial photographs. Please note, for best performance, we do recommend viewing these sources on a laptop or a desktop computer rather than a mobile device. Let's start off with the fire insurance plans, which can help determine the approximate date a house was built. These plans, which show the footprint of buildings, were created for insurance companies so that they could determine the materials used to construct buildings, which ultimately helped them prepare insurance quotes for their customers. The Archives has fire insurance plans from 1880 to 1973. The plans between 1880 and 1924 are digitized and available on our website, while the rest are on microfilm and can be viewed here at the Archives. While much of the former City of Toronto is shown on these plans, some areas aren't included, are partially included, or are only included in certain years. To start, head to our homepage, toronto.ca forward slash archives. Next, click on what's online. Select maps, and then fire insurance plans which will bring you to a page where the fire insurance plans are organized by date. Now choose a year you're interested in exploring. The next page lists the areas of the cities that were mapped in that year. Select an area to view its corresponding key plate. As you can see, fire insurance plans divide the city into numbered plates. Just click on any one of these plates to get a closer look at the streets and buildings in that location. A fire insurance plan shows the footprint of buildings on individual lots. The buildings are color-coded to show how they were constructed. The orange buildings are made of brick, and the yellow buildings are made of wood frame construction. You can zoom in and out of the plan, either by using the plus or minus buttons on the top right-hand corner of your screen, or by using your mouse's scroll wheel. By clicking on the map and using your mouse, you can drag the map once you have zoomed in. After you zoom in, you can see street numbers beside the buildings at the edge of the road. To determine when your house was built, try to find it on these plans and then work your way back in time until it's no longer shown. For example, in plate 31 of the 1924 plan, we can see that these brick houses on the corner of Van Horn Avenue and Dufferin Street are present in the 1924 plan. Now, if I check the plan before this one, which is from 1913, I no longer see these houses, which indicates that they were built sometime between 1913 and 1924. Once you have determined an approximate build date, you can use other resources like city directories to narrow down the dates even further. These resources will be discussed in the next video. If you're interested in researching a building in a later year or you're focused on an area that's not included in the fire insurance plans, check out our collection of aerial photographs which cover the years 1947 to 1992. So let's go back to the archives homepage and select what's online and then Maps. Here you'll find the link to the aerial photographs. Clicking on this page brings you to a page with links to each set of the photographs in our collection. Choose a year you want to look at, and then choose a location to view by clicking on the red dot. Similar to the fire insurance plans, you can zoom in and out of the photo either by using the plus or minus buttons on the top right hand corner of your screen or by using your mouse's scroll wheel. As we did with the fire insurance plans, use these photos to work backward until your house is no longer shown to determine the approximate date of construction. You will notice that you usually won't see street names listed on these photos, so it may be helpful to work with other maps if you're not familiar with this area. 
As always, if you run into any problems or have any questions, feel free to phone, email, or pop by the research hall. We are always happy to help. Thank you for watching the first video in our tutorial series, Researching Your House. Continue watching the series to learn more tips on unlocking the history of your home. Thank you for watching and happy searching!